Hey guys, so for this episode, it's going to be pretty short because um, I'm shooting down to the snow to go skiing this weekend and I literally just have no time. So um, yeah, this is it's going to be a short one. I'm going to be doing some gravel out in front of the, uh, um, in front of the entrance of the house. So we're still fo focusing on the first render um, and I'm essentially just going to be, um, yeah, just chucking down some gravel. I actually recorded this video before, um, but I wasn't really happy with the final result, so I've actually found an easier way to do it, um, and it actually has a better result. So what I'm going to do first is show you what I did yesterday. Um, so essentially, it was the um, same method that I used for this render here, um, where I scattered... Um, 50,000 pieces of gravel <laughs> which was just stupid um, so I did that again I'll just show you guys that so you'll notice that my blender file is absolutely 100% frozen well not frozen it's extremely slow um, <laughs> I'm attempting to zoom into the plane that I scattered 50,000 pebbles onto um, but as you can see, it's extremely slow. Um, and yeah, so essentially I was like, nah, it's just not, there's got to be a better way. So, um, I basically brought this, um, <laughs> I just brought this asset. It's like a, um, a gravel scan and I've, ch I just downloaded it now, checked it out. It's perfect. So this is it on on the Blender Marketplace, um, and I think, you know what, like, it just saves so much memory, so much time, it's only 10 bucks, it's worth it, so I got that, um, and yeah, this is what 50,000 pieces of gravel looks like scattered, I'm going to just turn that off. In another file, I have it open, so this is kind of what I, what I brought, um, and it looks fantastic, it's 8k. Um, I will be able to just like duplicate this around and it'll just be perfect. So I basically just copied it in, um, literally like no work at all needed to be done. Uh, and I'm just going to wait till this unfreezes itself and then we're going to put that in and see how it looks. So I'm just going to go and, um, basically remove the scattering. I'm going to delete that. And I am going to, so this is essentially just what I've copied in from the Blender file that I brought. Um, I'm just going to snap that down here, chuck it in. You can see it just looks fantastic. It's literally um, perfect. It's exactly what I want. So I'm going to just go into the render view and just have a little fiddle around with it. I'm going to bring it back. Um, and what I'll do, because this is just a plane, I can essentially subdivide it and just sculpt it a little bit. But for now, um, just because it's going to be a short one, I'm just going to chuck this around a few times. Um, you don't have to do everything yourself, you know. If you buy something and it looks good, then you've just saved a whole bunch of time and bam. That is pretty damn good gravel. I see basically no tiling and i don't know it just works so uh yeah what i'm gonna do just really quick isn't it amazing how i'm able to work in render mode because of how optimized this workflow is i'm just gonna delete this little square and then i'm just gonna bring that down that's conveniently where i need it to be um so if you kind of look close up at just like what we have here we've got i mean the timber looks pretty damn good pretty realistic i mean if you zoom into the stones like i'm gonna probably have to subdivide it a few times to actually bring out the so what I'm, i might actually do that now i might subdivide it like a hundred times and see if that works that might bring out the, yeah that might bring out the displacement a little bit um, I might just go on the subdivision uh, modifier just on this plane. I might just move it up a level and see if that helps. But 
I mean, from the kind of view that we're doing, like you literally just don't, you don't notice it. It looks fantastic. Um, so I'm just going to move this back a little bit just so we, we have um, space for the plants. And I'm going to move these down. Yeah. Let's go back into the render view. Yeah, I mean, in the next episodes, I'm going to just like fine tune this whole garden area. I'll probably slope it down. Probably, uh, you know, add maybe some tire marks in it because we've subdivided it. We can do that. You know, I'd probably lift this up to meet with the uh, um, the garage. And um, there needs to be a little bit more work done on the actual garage. I need to make some slits in the timber because it's going to be like integrated garage door. So it's going to be kind of hidden, but you're still going to see the, the um, I guess, the cut in the timber where it, where it goes up. So, yeah, it's a bit of a short one today, but, um, yeah, it's uh, I think it's a goodie. So definitely um, if you guys are going to be doing gravel for your um, for your for your arc fills, um, maybe consider buying something instead of scattering 50,000 pieces of gravel could be a good option uh yeah anyway peace i'll see you guys next weekend and uh please like and sub if you enjoy this content so far cheers